I mean, we've known about climate change for a very long time. There's a lot of doom and gloom in it. Impacts of climate change are increasing and inevitable. Parts of Singapore were hit by flash floods. The consequences for nature and humanity are sweeping and severe. But we have to realize the future isn't written yet. We can be the generation that ends global warming. We have to say if we create that future, we should do really well as a business alongside it. At Tomasek, we really want to lean in and tackle climate change. So one of our headline objectives really is to be net zero by 2050, but more importantly, because of the time frame, to halve our portfolio emissions by 2030. And we're also leaning into new investment opportunities as well, where we can invest and help scale the businesses of the future. There's a company called Svante. It's got an amazing nano-engineered material. So a sugar cube of this nanomaterial if you were to spread it out of a football field. And it can absorb carbon dioxide on that huge surface rather than releasing it into the atmosphere. Just recently, we formed decarbonisation partners together with BlackRock. And we're going to leverage their huge reach as a firm together with our competence and our technical understanding to look at how can we help find and accelerate the promising companies that have the solutions to climate change we're also working with our portfolio companies to help them transform themselves for a zero carbon future. And that can be bringing new technologies to them, uh, sharing advice around policy, uh, encouraging them on their journey and getting into deep dialogue with them. Centcorp came with a, a very bold plan to really flip their business from brown to green as a power company and to have a fourfold increase in the amount of renewable energy that they have on tap. Singapore Airlines have actually sort of doubled their target from instead of halving emissions by 2050, they're going for net zero by 2050. And we're looking at what can we do alongside that. So we're looking at negative emissions solutions and natural climate solutions. It's the oldest technology in the world in a way, it's things like trees. Some of these can be projects where you actually help prevent deforestation. But if you can go a step beyond that and actually help create new forests so you can have afforestation, reforestation, rebuild peatlands, and we can do it on a huge scale. In the same way, if you can absolutely reduce emissions somewhere, you can create credits for them. And then for someone who's still struggling to abate their emissions, whether that's a, an airline or a power company or a cement firm, they can buy some of those credits. We've just launched a new climate impact exchange together with DBS, SGX and Standard Chartered in Singapore to be a global exchange for carbon credits. We're obviously at a particular point in history now that will stay with us for the rest of our lives. The world is more fragile than we thought. And we know from looking at economic studies that climate change, if we don't act, could have twice the economic impact of the pandemic. We can be the generation that reverses the decline in nature, but it requires our best effort. And it's about every investment decision, every business decision, every policy decision, and the way we choose to build our future.